Hello, my name is Eugene, and I would like to show you something really cool that I've been working on for our upcoming game, Action Arcade Wrestling 3, which we are creating in collaboration with Dave Horn, who is the originator of the Action Arcade Wrestling series. And we essentially needed a rope system for the, the wrestling game. Uh, we wanted to have proper collision, proper physics on it, and overall we wanted it to look pretty darn good. So I looked at the cable component that comes with Unreal Engine 4 already. It was a very good start in terms of the way the cable was rendered and the physical movement of the cable. So a few days ago I completely redid the physics and the collision of the cable component. And in the end we got the rope component. Um, the rendering is pretty much identical. The only thing that I did was optimize the way the index buffer has been put together. There's a rope um, hanging over a sphere. This rope is being dynamically simulated right now. So this is a test case I set up to test collision with a static non-simulated movable object. The sphere uh, has collision and as you can see as it moves up and down the rope is perfectly conforming to the shape of the sphere. Well actually the now, as you can see right there, the green spheres along the rope's length indicate the particle bodies that basically build the rope. The rope consists of those length spheres, and they are providing the thickness and the collision to the rope. They are being used for the sweep distances and ray traces to do proper collision. Now, this is not using, well, it is using physics, but the math behind it is not necessarily using physics simulation. So now let me pause the static sphere. There we go. And instead, let me show you the radial force actor that the rope uh, simulates. Or not simulates, but reacts to it. Now as soon as I enable it, there we go. You should see the rope is being pushed out. The radial force actor is right behind the rope. And it's a bit to the left if you were looking at it from the front. So you can see the left side, the side closest to the camera right now, is a little bit, it's being pushed out more than the, the other end of the rope. And as I disable it, the rope goes back to normal. It's still being acted upon by gravity, but it no longer has the force behind it. This is not limited to force actors. This takes into account wind as well. So if you have a, a directional wind actor, it will properly simulate on the rope as well. Now, right here, I am doing collision with dynamic objects. We're going to drop a cube on top of this rope. And you can see the reaction. As you can see, the rope is reacting to the collision with the dynamic object. And the dynamic object is colliding with the rope. There is no elasticity as of right now. That is something I want to implement. It's not far off. It's, I don't think it's going to be too hard. This is a very good start to have in dynamic collision. Pretty good already. All right, now the next thing I want to show you, this is a really special case for Action Arcade Wrestling 3 that we wanted to have. We basically have cases where the rope needs to do a complex animation. For example, for a move, or, well, yeah, actually just for moves. And I implemented a way for the dynamic rope to follow the bones of a skeletal mesh to do a complex animation. And if I get the camera in the right angle here, there we go. As you can see, the rope on the left, the red one, it is a simple skeletal mesh that we are actually using right now in the arena, in a different level, in the game. And it's doing a balance animation. The gray rope is a simple dynamic rope that we just saw, except it has a few more features implemented to follow the skeletal mesh bones. Now let me enable the skinning on the articles. And as you can see, it's near perfectly following the animation of the skeletal mesh. Now, they are going in the opposite directions. That's simply due to the uh, rotation of each uh, actor. But it's almost perfectly following the animation. 
And by the way, you don't need to have a skeletal mesh next to it. It's all built in. Now, the collision is being opted as well. As you can see, all those spheres are following the bones and conforming to the animation as well. So if you had a dynamic object, it would get bounced off if it got close. So that's the uh, the implementation of rope physics and collision that I put together. I am looking to get this out as a plugin on the marketplace for Unreal Engine 4. If you guys have any future requests, questions, feedback, that is very much welcome. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.